So I'm working on the rear door, rear garage door today. I had I have all the pieces almost ready. Uh, that's the bottom piece over there with the brackets that I've already made. This is the center piece. This is the top. They're all cut at 45 and ready. And I also have the uh, the uh, these are the edges. So this one and this one are the edges, and these are um in the center as well so i'm gonna have three beams in the center two edges and top and bottom i've already ground um some spots here because i'm going to be using um i decided to use uh, just a round tube so i put i'm gonna put six round tubes per side so this is where the uh, the bug is gonna drive over i'm also making a bracket here for the uh for the winch to hook on um, that's gonna go right about here and and um, it, I'm just gonna hook up the winch to it so I'm gonna have to drill that and I'm also making the brackets for the door these are gonna be the latches to hold the door in place so I'm gonna use, use these cutouts that I've already made for the lights so I'm gonna put them on the side and then I'm going to drill a hole through them and this is going to get into it. It's going to go into it to lock it in place. And I'm going to use these leftover pieces of 4 inch channel. I'll uh, plasma cut them and make them uh, make brackets for them to mount onto the door. So that's the plan for today. Alright, so I started assembling the rear door. And uh, just make sure that it's all level. And it is all level. basically what I do is I make sure it's square so I measure the diagonal both diagonals and make sure that they're exactly the same and then I start tack welding I just have to make sure that the, uh, the joints are well well fitted first I don't like to see any gaps so they're all tack welded and I'm starting to put the center beams now eventually I'll start filling them up with uh, steel going across hold the weight of the buggy and uh, what I like to do is I put a just a piece of uh, one by two rectangular tubing clamp it and then I, I can I can put the three by one tube right on it and it will be flush so I can just move it around make sure it's all uh, square before I uh, tack weld it in place all right so the door the main inside of the door is complete pretty much all tacked together so I, uh, I put a, these are one and five eighths round two, and they're flush with the surface here. So basically the one eighth tread plate aluminum is gonna come over this. I added a little bit of extra support on this side because this is where the buggy is mostly is gonna be driving. And I put some supports in the middle just in case, you know, I, I need to load a tractor or anything like that. And I also put a bracket for the winch over there so I'm just gonna test it out now I've already wired the winch and I got the car so I the car is running and I'm just uh, providing 12 volt power to the trailer and so the up button So it looks like it's all good. There's just enough gap where I wanted to put it. So there's about one eighth of a gap. So I'm gonna add a weather seal. So everything looking pretty good. Uh, the door is not incredibly heavy, but strong enough hopefully for what I needed it, need it for. Well, to go down, what I need to do is I actually need to open it up a little bit. So, just gonna open it up. And with this, I need to put a handle on the outside. Okay, we'll go 
all good. All right, so the rear door is pretty much complete. And the last thing that I had to do on it was uh, kind of a, a skid, a somewhat of a skid plate here where it lands on the on the ground so it doesn't damage the driveway. And so I, I kind of built it a little bit on an angle. So, um, so when it lays on the ground, it lays flat. And the other thing I added is um, this is here is pretty much for a for a handle that I'm going to use on the outside. And the weather seal is just a piece of one eighth angle that I use here. And there's another latch on the other side too. Lies almost perfectly flat. That's great. All right. So the door is uh, painted, and I just left it uh, a little bit open so it dries. But it's all good. 